Punchline, San Francisco, what's going on? How y'all feel? Y'all good? Y'all good? It's Mother's Day. We got mothers in the house. Happy Mother's Day. My wife said she wanted a pearl necklace for Mother's Day, and uh, I just hope we meant the same thing. Like, I don't, I don't want to get that wrong. Uh, mess that up. I'm excited, though, because I just got a job. Clap it up for that. That's exciting. Black man working in this economy. I got a job. Excited. And the thing is, I ain't had a job in about five or six years, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been a stay-at-home father. And the thing is, when I tell a beautiful crowd of average people like you that, you guys think that's a good thing. You're like, oh, that's a good man. He, you know, he took care of his family. I like that. You know, I'm going to laugh at his jokes. You know what I mean? That's what y'all think. But when you put that on the application, the job just looks at it and says, oh, he must be a pothead. <laughs> and you're both right. I'm a good man and a pothead, okay? Gotta be, you know what I mean? And the thing is, I didn't realize how important having a job was until I started doing comedy full time. And I, I did a comedy show at this comedy club and they gave me $10. Yeah, they paid me $10. That's not the worst part. They gave me a check. I don't know if any of you good grown folks have ever gotten a $10 check, but that is the most disrespectful shit you could ever do to another adult human, okay? Don't do that shit, all right? Give me cash, give me five, give me two fives, a five and five ones, you know what I'm saying? I'll take quarters, you know what I'm saying? But treat me like a man, okay? Because there's only one thing a $10 check says about you. You know what it says about you? It says you ain't shit. That's right. It says you ain't shit. Now you gotta go into some bank and tell somebody else you ain't shit. That's right. You gotta go see the most evil people on earth. Bank tellers. And you know why they're evil? Because they know all your business. That's right. That's right, ladies. You can walk in there with a $1,200 Louis Vuitton bag on your arm, but they gonna look at your account and be like, oh, that's a cute bag with this negative 29 cent in your account. But you look good, boo-boo. You want that empty purse. You know what I mean? They evil. Cause the thing is, like, you go in there and you already trying to be incognito. You like, you know, looking around, make sure I see you. And you walk to the counter, you like, I need you cash this ten dollar check. And it always takes them by surprise. They look at it, they go, Oh, <laughs> didn't know they made checks this low. Uh, how would you like that? One pennies, bitch. All pennies. And don't roll them up either. Count them out. Playing games. Playing straight games. Cause I ain't had my own money in so long, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm, I'm like conflicted. Like when I get my first paycheck, I, I don't know what I should do with it. Like I should do some fatherly shit. You know, maybe take my wife out somewhere. You agree, yeah, you know, take her to the punchline. You know, something like that. You know what I mean? I could buy my kids some food. You know, I could do something like that. But I think I'm gonna do something for Chris. I'm gonna do something for me, okay? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna buy as much cocaine as I can get for $120. Cause look, I didn't say it was a good job, okay? But I, I don't even do cocaine, first of all. I just wanna pose with it like black people do with their tax return check. You know, I just wanna be like. Have some fun with it, shit. Got a lot of people in here look like a couple though. We got relationships going on here, people dating in here. You guys, yeah, yeah fucking y'all dating us. Yeah, yeah, you know what the answer is too. Now, now let me ask the ladies a question in here that's dating. Let me ask you a ladies a question. How many of y'all think a man should do all the things he did to get you once he got you? Yeah? Yeah, you guys are all unison and all wrong. That's beautiful. No. It's all right. No, I'm telling you, you're not supposed to do all those things. So ladies, here's the thing. If we didn't know you'd expected us to keep doing that shit, we'd have set the bar a lot lower, okay? All right? We wouldn't have took you to Sizzler and let you get the colossal shrimp and the steak and the illness salad bar and the strawberry lemonade, which, by the way, is just country time with the damn strawberries from the ice cream thing. Could have did that shit your damn self, you know what I mean? No, we would have took you somewhere more practical. We would have took you somewhere like Denny's. Put you on that two, four, six, eight menu, okay? Actually, it'd have been more like two, four, six, because if you want something to drink, I can't afford enough of the eight dollar menu. I brought twelve dollars and I'm trying to eat too. Don't be selfish. You know why? Because ladies, y'all don't do all the things that y'all do to begin a relationship later on. Fellas, where my fellas at? Where you at? Make some noise. Yeah. Remember when you first met your girl? She just sucks your dick for hours. Remember that? She had like knee pads. She come to the room, put her hair in a ponytail. She put olive oil on the corners of her mouth and shit. We walking in the room, working her neck out like a football team. Just... You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> you used to pull your dick out, she looked at it like it was an Academy Award, she'd be like... <laughs> I wanna thank God. Remember that shit? <laughs> now you pull your dick out, she look at it like it's a PG and E bill. <laughs> You know, it's a lie. What it is, is, ladies, y'all like to eat for free. <laughs> Fellas, we like to fuck. So what happens is we create this food for fuck exchange that we call a relationship. And y'all be like, ooh, you tearing it up. And he be like, where you want to eat? Where you want to eat? Where you want to eat? <sighs> Gas is expensive nowadays. It is. That's a nice segue. I like that too. Yeah, it's expensive nowadays. And I, I live in Oakland. I don't know if you ever been to Oakland, but there's a street in Oakland called East 14th Street. You ever been there? Yeah. Um, on East 14th Street, if you haven't been there, there's a lot of hoes. Okay? There's all kinds of hoes. There's chubby hoes. There's skinny hoes. There's tall hoes. There's a midget hoe. Half the price, twice as nice. Um, and I was riding down the street one night looking for cheap gas. I had $20 in my pocket. I had to get some gas. And I'm riding down the street. And I get to the stoplight. And one of these hoes comes up to a window. She's like, Hey, Daddy. You know I got them good $20 blowjobs. Need to holler at you, girl. Peaches. <laughs> I'm a married man, y'all. I don't go for that shit. I don't get down like that. So I did what any good married man would do in that situation. I told her to get in. <laughs> so we riding around and she like feeling on me, rubbing on my sexy bits. And I had to slow her down and say, baby, check this out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't need you to suck on my black hose. I need you to suck on this rubber hose and we gonna siphon some gas out these cars at this Walmart parking lot. Cause I figure she can suck the juice out of a van, she can suck the gas out of a van. Hey, my name is Chris Range, y'all have a great night, peace.